Yo, what's going on guys? Today we have a template video. Yes, Dark Template, the long-awaited um, Six Brother I've kind of forgotten about. People have been asking me about this for a while, but due to the, I guess, the immense amount of content I had to go over with the spinner characters and bosses and stuff like that over the last, what, two weeks, I, I kind of forgot about it. So, um... Unfortunately, Graham Blue has now decided to update the spinner. You can see down here, not the <laughs> update the handbook. Um, so I wanted to get the dark template video out. It's totally not because people pinged me about it. But yeah, so I thought, you know, it's time to uh, look at that. Oh, I'm not following them. I swear I was Oh, I'm not signing the Twitter on this account. Okay, I'm like, I'm... Yeah, um, but yeah, thanks to Grand Blue EN, we were able to, uh, Grand Blue EN, we were able to see that due to their translations. I'm pretty sure I'm following them on my main Twitter account, just that this one's not logged in. Just so you guys know, bro, just, you know, just proof, it's not logged in, okay? I'm not a bad guy. Anyways, GBF Handbook, let's go to Equipment Templates. We're moving on to the final element. I like how it's still left on light, by the way. Dark. So we're starting off with the Diablo build, which is the same as all the other first builds. Ignore it. Not worth your time. Bought to be like six SR weapons and, and a whole bunch of what are these weapons, dude? Like I don't even know what half these things are. It, 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 don't waste your time. It's a bunch of normal mod. I don't even know if there's any EX mod here. There ain't nothing to talk about here. This is bad. B A D. Bad. Even as a new player, you can get something better than that. Just farming the side stories. But we're on to the actual first build here. Celeste Omega build. Works best with Celeste Omega weapons. Get them from Celeste Omega raids. Offense is 2. Defense is 2. Effort is 2. I'm guessing it's going to be an Axe Spear build. Um, The fact I got that right is actually pretty amazing. So we have three spears and two axes. The reason I assume it was this is that they consider claws to be the premium grid. So while you farming the claw, you're gonna want to you're gonna get a ton of these weapons, and you fill up your grid with this. And then when you get done with this, you move up to the claw grid. That's what I'm thinking. They was thinking about this, which is fine. Um, the Bahamas traffic weapon, two ex, some cruddy main hand. It seems to be usable to me. Um, I can't really talk much about this. I think this is fine. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't like skill level fifteen any of these. But skill level fifteen, the axe two is kind of like eh in twenty twenty. So I wouldn't skill level twenty any of these. I'll keep them all skill level ten for now. Especially because how much quartz you need now in the game. People have been complaining about quartz all the time. So it's really hard to tell people to ever full limit break any of these. Because it's the, the quartz consumption in the game is a lot higher than it was in previous years. Now we're on the Celeste Omega build 2. Keep in mind the full limit break Celeste. So we are now in high level. An enhanced version of Celeste Omega. A midi build uh, boosted your attack in dire situations. A.K.A. Run Zoe. Offense is 3. I think that's perfectly fine. Thanks to Zoe. I would even go as far to say it's 4. Just because Zoe is, exists in the element. But um, for those without Zoe, understandable. We have two defense. That means it's no staff in the grid, I'm assuming. Because there's no defense, that means it's not allow health. Effort is three. Uh, I'll put effort as two. You could trade for these weapons. Unlike the Celeste, the, the, the sword from Luminera, this one you could trade for. Woo! Bring me back to the good days. <laughs> I ran this grid a long time ago. Good times, good times. Um, 2EX still, 5 Claws, Bahamut, Seraphic. Yeah, looks good enough for me. Um, there's no Opus here. Always gonna be mentioning the Opus thing. Um, there's no Opus here, so you would drop a Claw. Well, actually, depending on how, how low health you play at, if you play at like around 30%, it's actually better to drop a Zeno. And if you're playing above 30, you would drop a claw. So depending on how much health you play at, um, 
you would it depends if you drop a claw or a Zeno for the um opus. But I have nothing to really complain about other than you know you don't have any staffs here, so you know you don't have that HP boost. That and you don't have the HP boost from the opus either. And yes, you do need HP on dark to play at low HP. It's better to play at low HP with 1k health than to play with like 700 health. Um, we're on Slash Omega build 3. So this is the avatar grid, which I'm guessing is the gun grid. Offense is 4, stop lying to yourself. Defense is 3, so I'm guessing we have staffs in here. And effort is 4. So I'm guessing like a staff avatar gun grid. Um, but it says powers up your charge attack damage. So we know there's staffs in here. I don't know if it's going to be staff and claw or staff and gun. Let's find out. So this is what I'm talking about after this. Yeah, this is great. I like this is like perfectly fine. Um, <laughs> I mean, pretty good grid other than the main hand. Like the main hand is, we don't talk about the main hands, but other than that, um, I mean, you can put an EX here. This grid does not have an EX. But depending on how low health you play at, it's not that important. And generally, you can throw it. Dark is one of the LEs where their EXs are really good main hands. So you can actually main hand the EX, like the um, recent Zeno Spear. It's a really. Zeno Spear, if you're Magna, that's your savior, dude. That's like the Zeno Sword for light. If you want to pump out good damage, generally, the Zeno Spear is really good if you're not playing at like really low health if you're playing at really low health then it doesn't matter but the Zeno spirits definitely your way to get good damage in like high level rates like ultimate bahamut high level and fa high level and it's also very very good weapon for full auto probably the best Zeno weapon right now for full auto in terms of damage and what it gives to you though you have to need some multi-attacking your grid so that you're not single attacking every turn um, but other than that, I think this is fine. Uh, I would just mention one thing about the, as I mentioned, the Zeno, but generally Dark has really good main hands for Zeno, so the grid itself is fine as long as you're having a Zeno in your main hand. If not, then you could drop one of the claws for, uh, EX, uh, EX mod. Unless you play it, as I mentioned, unless you play it really low health. If you play it really low health, then you should be fine. Dark is one of those LEs where you can like really get away with things that normally wouldn't work in other LEs because how strong of a mod a midi is. So you not having an EX is okay if your health threshold is low enough. But you use the EX to um, EX mod to balance out your damage at higher health. And that's it for the Magna build. So there's no gun build here. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm not a fan of the gun build. As I mentioned, um, I don't think I have to mention this in the video, but I am f currently farming every grid in the game. I was against it at first, but uh, in 2020, I thought I'd change it up and I'll farm every grid in the game. Currently going through Hector grind. Um, I think I'm at six weapon drops and something like that. So uh, we're getting there. We're getting there in time. I will eventually have every grid. I, I would like to have every grid finished before anniversary. That's my goal. If I can finish every grid in the game farmable before anniversary. Is that possible? I don't know, but uh what I'm looking to, to finish. I kind of just spoiled myself. I see that there's three Hades build. This is the first Hades build. Um raise your charge attack damage cap. So I'm guessing this is a Anubis grid with this. See why people really wanted me to look at this. I can see because people have been asking me for this for a while. <laughs> this calling this bad would be an understatement. This is like some fucking abomination of like it, I don't even know what they're going for. 
So they put the Cortana here for a multi-attack in the grid, right? And that's offset by the Anubis Staff Army, Anubis Axe, right? an axe, right? That gives you health and CA damage cap up. Then we have two Avatar Staffs, a Karen Bow, Karen People? What does it even do? Karen Harp. There's no other normal mod. <laughs> yeah, this is so bad. Oh my god. They have the Zeno Katana. This is your EX mod. Your Opus. Man, it really tilts me when I see this fucking... <laughs> when I see this grid, right, with the Opus, they went as far as to throw an Opus into this grid, but what about the other grids? Like the Dark Magna grid? Um, Celeste Magna 3? That's a decent... Oh, it did have it. The Celeste Magna 2 did not have it. Um, but the Celeste Magna 2 is a perfectly fine grid, to be honest. This is abysmal, dude. I guess I can really see why people really wanted me to look at this grid, dude. I can really see it now. Um, honestly, <laughs> I don't even have words for it, bro. It's just like they did some shit. Like they went to party, dude, and then they went like, "Yo, bro, we got to build a dark grid." I, I don't know what to build for Hades, bro. And then was like, "Oh, Hades grid, I got you guys. Here we go. We're gonna just hit hold, hit auto select, dark and health." They were like, they went to fucking dark. And they were like, there you go, boom, there's a grid. And it came out with... It didn't come out like this, but it came out something like this. They, they were like, free-to-play weapons only, and they were like, oh, sick, I got, like, the raddest dark grid in 2019. Keep in mind, I was made in 2019. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty... I don't want to, like, crap on it too much, right? Because they're trying. Um, they even go as far to update it, so... I don't want to crap on it too much, but whoever made that, bro, you really messed up. Effort is four? <laughs> bro, that grade is like effort three, right? Isn't like these weapons hella easy to get? These two is just from Celestials. Opus is easy. If you have Quartz, I know, I know, something gonna complain. Seraphic's not hard. EX Mod's not hard. I guess these two is hard, and this one can be hard. But it's trade in. You can trade in for this weapon. So, um,. I don't think it's that hard, but for anybody when you know throws a knife at my back, I understand. I wouldn't call it effort four, but effort three. Um, offense would be two because that grid is abysmal. I don't know how they have the audacity to say that grid better than better than this. How do they say that that grid is better than this? They they gotta be joking, right? Did they play with both grids? They they haven't, right? Because they would clearly know that this grid is way better than this one, right? Um, the fact that they even have the same values is just like, what? Anyways, Hades, a midi build. Oh, gets the grid. Ooh. An enhanced version of Hades build, a midi booster, attack in entire situation, effort, max, meaning money. Ooh, four gets the Five gets the Three Gisela? Let's find out. Four! Five! Holy shit! Oh! Oh! Oh dear! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Okay then. Well, that's a lot. Now, this count has the fifth one, but I'm, I'm not barring that, but uh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, did Ono make this? <laughs> I feel like he had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of say in the grid. Just a little bit. Um, They threw a Magna mod. Again, no EX mod. Notice that they... Because Amity is a strong modifier, they don't ever put in the EX mod. Um, Honestly, I would throw in the EX mod. Personally, this is me. I think this grid's not that bad. The the back weapon would be the Opus. So you, that would give you another weapon slot. But Primal Opus is okay if it's like damage over time. 
Um, it's not that bad of a grid, right? Like you can make some changes. Like if you're being a little bit more efficient, you can change the the magna here with the magna opus. Then you have another slot to throw in an ex weapon. You can put an ex in here. So there's a couple things you could change. It's not that bad. You got the seraphic weapon, the curing bow, parazonium. It's not that bad, but it can be more um, optimized. It's a goal. <laughs> yeah, th this grid is not that bad. And Parazonium being the only main hand is okay. Oh, we on the stamina build? I guess it's going to be five, five swords. If they're going with the five Gisela, they're going to be five swords. I can really tell it. This Hades build is centered around the stamina skill. Make use of the Fallen Sword. Now, one thing I'm thinking about, right? Is they're going to put it in the Magna Opus. They should. But if they put in the magna opus for this grid, I'm gonna be very annoyed if they did not put it in for this grid. They didn't put in the magna opus. Huh, so why is fire the only LE that got the magna opus, right? The fire one got the magna opus, right? Yeah, see? This is biased. But why did they not do it for dark? Well, as I mentioned, same thing applies here. Drop this, um, drop this staff. Put in magna opus. Gives you another weapon slot to put in. Um, they have ex here, so they got the ex. They got the curing bow. Yeah, you just put in the magna opus here, and um, the free slot can be like, um, uh, good question. I don't even know what to put in the free slot right now, top of my head. Free slot. What was going there? Hmm. I'm not too sure right now. Off the top of my head, I'm really not. To be honest, I'm throwing a sword in there. <laughs> to be realistic, I would. I'd be. I'd be either that or some cap up, right? Um. Yeah. Honestly, I there ain't much else you could throw in there, right? I mean, I'm thinking about off the top of my head. Like, what else can you really throw in? There? Like, for a Stark Stand. Oh, BK sword maybe to. Average up to damage a little bit. That's possible. Uh, let's fairy's harp if you want to get more CA damage. That's like I wouldn't really do it though. <laughs> uh, what else can you throw in there? Hmm. Yeah, dark stamina. It's really, it's really hard to say. Like a fairy harp. I mean, I think you'll still do okay with a fairy harp in there, but it sounds that sounds bad. It just sounds bad to me. You have the Magna Opus and four Stamina Weapons, so, um, I'm not too sure. I don't want, I want to want, I don't want to say another EX. No, hell no. But in terms of weapons, like, BK Sword is probably the best weapon in slot there. Honestly, I think. If you wanted to optimize the tab a bit more. But other than that, I don't think it's that bad of a grid overall. So... Um, it's just the opus. The opus is the one problem with it. So, um, I mean, I just like how they would bias with the dark one. Not for the fire one, where they did put in the magna opus. But for the other LEDs like um, earth and and dark, they don't get magna op Oh, wait, no. Earth got it, so dark just didn't get it. What is this dark bias, dude? Oh, I know what they're doing. They're giving Dark bad grids because it's the best LD in the game. So they're gonna give it a bad grid so people don't feel nearly as bad. You don't want all you don't want the game to be ravaged by dark players, obviously. That's why they don't have no that's why they don't have a palm tree in this grid, because they want you to die. I mean you would have put a palm tree in this grid because you don't want the dark player to die. But Grand Blue GB um GBF is thinking, oh man, we won't tell them about this amazing weapon that boosted their defense and health. Because we want them to die. Duh. They know. They know that like, Dark is so brain deadly strong that they like, bro, we need to make it harder for the Dark players in the game. I understand now. Fully. Fully. Anyways, that's it for the um, equipment template. I don't know at what time will they update this. 
This, this one needs an update so bad. It's so, oh my god, dude. This one is just like, oh, this is an abomination, dude. I kind of want to do a video with it, just for one time. Um, but, yeah. I don't know when they plan on updating this, but some of these are, like, if I had to rank them, right? We're going to do a little extra here. If I had to rank the worst grids here, this is, this is, this is abysmal, dude. This one is like, oh, wow. But there's another one. I think it was, what was it? Was it Fire? There was one more, like, what? Was it water? Was it water fire in the build? No, 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 no. There was one more of these grids that was the straight. Was it the CA build? <laughs> this is pretty bad. It's not as bad as the uh, free-to-play Hades build, but that's pretty bad. Huh. There was one of these builds that was just so abysmal. I can't remember which. I don't want to go through each one, but um, that Dark Hades one, the free to play, because it's this grid. If you didn't know, right? What they do is they make these grids free to play. Like the, the first primal grid is free to play for each, right? This like free to play grid, and then we have a free to play grid. So it just goes to show you that Dark free to play is straight booty. So you're best off running Celeste Magna if you're going to free to play Dark. But I did find it hilarious though. Now, as I mentioned, there's no Highlander grid in this um, in this section, which it should be. Highlander Dark is very good, but that's okay. I, hopefully, when they update it, they'll add it. But until then, um, we're going to call it the video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, shout out to Noema and uh, Mozart for keep pinging me about this garbage. But until then, uh, see you guys next time. Bye.